So I study snakes because they're really confusing. They don't have limbs, they don't have obvious joints or appendages. They're remarkably successful. Snakes are really just these elongated tubes. Internally, they are really complex. You or I, we have about 750 muscles in our body. Pick a snake on the planet, they have anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 muscles inside of their body. My name is David Penning, and I study the powerful squeeze of constricting snakes. Feisty lady. King snakes are found in most of North America. There are a variety of different species. They're non-venomous, they're constrictors. You can find them in trees, you can find them swimming. Uh, they're kind of the jack of all trades, they just have this special ability to eat other snakes. But it's really confusing because it's a constricting snake eating another constricting snake, and we wanted to explore the ways in which that was possible. We wanted to compare a king snake to something that it would commonly face, and we know that it has faced before, and that is the rat snake. Rat snakes are also found in most of North America. They're constrictors, they're non-venomous, and so these two competitors are often found in similar environments. How is this king snake constrictor killing this rat snake constrictor with constriction, even though the king snake is smaller? In almost all aspects of biology, size plays a really important role in what organisms do. And, and a good example of why size matters comes from things like mixed martial arts. What we see are strict weight classes, and it's really rare to see fighters allowed to fight their opponent if they are overweight. They're deemed to have too much of a size advantage. King snakes in this scenario have something like a 30% size disadvantage in this fight, but they're not the larger individual, yet they're winning, and they're doing it quite often. We ended up studying just under 200 individual snakes. They do look similar from the outside, but we wanted to confirm that they were similar on the inside. And from what our results have found, king snakes and rat snakes across their size have the same amount of muscle. If they're similar in muscle, that also means they're probably similar in what they can do with those muscles. 